Hello everyone. So now I'm going to discuss for the topic 1.2 complex number for the example 11. Find the a and b for the following equation. 11a. As we all know, we are dealing with a complex number. So in a complex number, we are having a real part and imaginary part. So now the first step what we have to do is to compare. Okay, so where A plus B is a real part for the left-hand side, which is equals to 6, and we give that as a first equation. Then, followed by the second part, which is a imaginary numbers. So we have A minus B, which is equals to 4, and we have it for the second equations. So in order to find the value a and b, we are going to use the simultaneous equation. So for this case, I'm going to eliminate the b. So I'm going to use the first equation plus with the second equation. So we will have 2a, which is equals to 10, and a, which is equals to 5. Then I'm going to substitute the value a equal to 5 into the second equation. So where we have 5 minus b equals to 4. And then we rearrange. So we will have b is equals to 1. So now I'm going to discuss for the example 11b. So repeat the same process. I'm going to compare for both sides. So the first part will be a plus 2b, which is equal to 9 because it's a real part. So I name it as the first equation. The second part will be a minus b, which is a imaginary part for the left hand side. And it is equal to 0. That will be my second equation. So based on the situation, I'm going to focus on the right hand side where a is equal to b. So now I'm going to substitute the a, which is equal to b, into the first equation. So now I'm having b plus 2b, which is equal to 9. So we have 3b equals to 9, and finally b will be equal to 3. So if b is equal to 3, a definitely will be equal to 3. Now we are going to look for the example 11c. So based on the situation, I'm going to expand for the left hand side. So we will have 3a plus 6i plus ai plus 2i square, which is equal to bi. As we all know, i squared is equal to negative 1. So now I'm going to substitute the value into the i square so we will have 3a okay plus 6 plus a bracket i minus 2 equals to b i so now i'm going to repeat the same process which is compare both sides so now i'm going to have the real part which is 3a minus 2 equals to 0 that will be my first equation. And then followed by the second part would be 6 plus a, which is equal to b. That would be my second equation. So based on the situation now, I'm going to settle the left hand side, which is the first equation, where we have a is equal to 2 over 3. Then I'm going to substitute the value a, which is equal to 2 over 3, into the second equation. So 6 plus 2 over 3, which is equal to b. So now b, we have 20 over 3. So here we are, and thanks for watching.